elimination kickboxing match. Three rounds, two minutes each. Coming out of the Brandon Dodge red corner, Jack Willoughby. This guy's a pretty good fighter. Um, Independent, he doesn't have a yeah. gym. And, and I'm telling you, there's there's a couple guys, and there's a kid, and, I, and this name's escaping me now, but when we fought in Wyoming a lot, Dustin, you may have been on one of the cards. He's a skinny Wyoming kid, and he's only lost one fight. He fought for the Sparta title, and the kid's only like 18, 19, 17, I believe. And I'm waiting for him to come down and fight in Denver again. And it's just amazing when you see some of these younger guys. I'm, yeah, I was talking about the young kid in Wyoming that we saw for a couple times up there. Mm -hmm. Fought for the Sparta title that really, I think he's going to have a great future. Absolutely. So much so much good talent coming out. And we were away from it for a couple of years. So there are all these guys that were developing and yeah. becoming these strong fighters and guys that had been in it for a little bit. But now they got to really sort of settle in and work on their game and uh, not have any distractions or anything while... COVID was going on, you know, what are you going to do? You go to the gym and work out. Yeah, and, so, it, it, yeah. It, it, Dustin, after they enter the next fighter, I want to follow up on that with you about kind of what you guys did, because for a while, the gyms were shut down. Yeah, I tell you what, we were shut down as well. But we <laughs> we kept quotes. at it, man. <laughs> Absolutely. He's a colorful cat. And our next fighter, coming out of the Larry Miller Volkswagen Blue Corner, Robert Wright. Otherwise known as Robert Wright. <laughs> so a little more kickboxing back in Dustin's old wheelhouse. Uh, Although none of you, not very many of your fights hit the ground. No, not not too many. Every now and again, a little bit on the ground. I kind of like the trunks of Willoughby. Yeah, those I mean, are kind of cool. Kind of like dripping blood, right? Little Freddy Krueger-esque. Yeah, they're kind of cool. I'd, I'd wear a pair of that around the house, maybe. <laughs> All right, Mr. Willoughby on the tail of the tape shows us that he is 29 years old versus Robert Wright's 24 years old. Both a couple of very tall fighters, 6'3 for Willoughby, 6'1 versus Wright. And they made the 165 pound limit. Kickboxer is Mr. Willoughby with the two and one record versus the Muay Thai fighter as uh, who is Robert Wright, the zero one and zero fighter. Just thinking about this, let's look at him. I think he ought to come roll out to Vanilla Ice. You know, a little ice, All ice baby. Right. You know. <laughs> Out of the Brandon Dodge red corner, this fighter stands six foot three inches, 163 pounds. He is an independent fighter. Jack the Ripper will be. Out of the Larry Miller Volkswagen blue corner. This fighter stands 6'1", 165 pounds, fighting out of peak kickboxing, Robert Ryan. The crowd's getting pumped up now. We're getting close to that main event. I got a feeling about this one. <laughs> Guys looking like they might be ready to do some everlasting damage, as it were. That's the name of the game, damage. I'm ready to see some. Doing some damage. I'm just like the shorts, man. Let's see what happens. Wright starts off with the teep kick. Willoughby tries to light him up to the body. I don't know what Oscar said to him, but he said probably get it right. Oh, a combination <laughs> kind of, that kind of rock will be a little bit. Yeah, throwing those blind kicks again, man. You can't you can't do that. You get caught with those overhand counters. Nice kick underneath the ribs, then a front kick. Oh, they're turning side kicks. Nice. He's got something to it. 
Front snap kick. Right looks to answer with the same. Anything you can do, I can do better. I see one, give one. <laughs> That's it. In this case, feel one, give one. Slip. A little bit of a little. Canvas must be a little slippery. Help with the fighter out there. Oh, oh nice little tag in the nice lower chin. Right off the cheek. Do it again. Come back with the Oh, it goes to the bread basket nice with the, the big body. burning yes. kick. Mr. Wright. Getting some good counters going on as right. So Willoughby's, Willoughby's taking some shots. He's a little gassed right now. Yeah, and his footwork isn't quite all underneath him either. Yeah, his mouth's open every every time his mouth's been open. Interesting you'd say that. I heard his corner tell him to close his mouth. Oh, and he's oh, hurt. Oh, no, he broke his arm. Oh, he did? Is that what it is? Oh, goodness. Yeah, call him for the dock immediately. Oh, he's in oh, pain, he's too. Oh, what a shame. Oh, I hate to see that. We sure do, man. Again, and immediately, Wright comes over to check on him, but Oscar waves him off, says, yeah, let's let the doc do his work. Oh, it's oh, out of it's joint. Out of joint. His shoulders he's trying out to of joint. He's trying to put it back in. Uh, get him in the back. And pulleys and magnets. Start yanking on that thing. That sucks, Check it out man. on the replay here. Yeah. Wright going to work with his high kicks. And Wright showing some respect inside the ring right now. That's good to see. Is that where it came oh, it out? Like he, yeah, it looked like he did a throw and a punch. Wow. Just slipped out of joint. How very T.J. Dillashaw of him. Oh, wow. Oh, what a shame. It's just a minute. And Dustin, we talk about this a lot of time. When you connect with the punch, how much better that is when you're throwing and you're missing and what that can do to a fighter. Yeah, absolutely, man. You throw and you miss. And you, you're, all you're, right, all right, all right. There's a lot of force. Right. It's uncontrolled. Such In the first round great. at a minute 34, technical knockout injury, your winner for the Larry uh, Volkswagen Blue Corner, Robert Ray. Well, congratulations to Mr. Wright, yeah. but we know he doesn't want that yeah. kind of victory, so hopefully maybe these guys can run it back at some point. Yeah, the good thing about it was it was that he was doing well in the yeah. fight, and he had started to take a little bit of control. So I think that's the good thing about it. But, you know, Dustin, when you say we're to finish up on that, when you when you miss with something, I mean, you can not only put yourself in damage in, in a situation where you can get struck, but but taking something out of joint like we just saw happen. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. That's just too bad.